So we are in a race over to Andy's at Accent's windows tinting because it's going to thunderstorm as usual in this state. So we're gonna head over to Andy's and hopefully get panned to some darker window tint here. I don't mind driving it in the rain, but I'd rather get over there before it thunderstorms and everybody forgets how to drive. So we're gonna head over there and then we'll just wait out the thunderstorm there if we have to, but you know, we'll see. So get over to Andy's, see what tip we're gonna do. I always love the cold starts in the garage. Might be able to hear some turbo. I don't, might not come through, but when you're up against the walls like that, you get some good turbo whistle at cold start. Andy's here. There's the, the master. What does light fight mean? Because you're late. It means nothing. It's it's actually Dan's fault. It was it's it we, we had to go an important trip and get video games for Dan. <laughs> Dan, Dan's like, I'm going to the mall. I need to help get video games. I'm like, all right, I'll go. And then we were over there playing this stupid game. I don't know what it was. It's like, I forget what the hell it was called. It was like this cartoon shooting game. It was dumb. And I'm like, oh, 4:30. I'm like, shit. So, four here. Not super late. So, so there's two pandas. See, you, you can call your car panda. What is it? I know you got a name for it. What is it? White lightning. There's a true manual. Probably is worth 15 times more than what it was when you got it, you know. Typical Porsche stuff. You can't, nope, 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 nope. All right, watch, ready? Oh, it's over there. It's a swipe. Oh, uh, well that's why. <laughs> see, we're gonna do a video sometime of, we're just gonna park this and see if anybody can figure out like how to get into it. This is what, this is 30, 35%? We're going what, 15? Go 15. It just needs a hair darker. And what we were talking about earlier was, basically, I'm complaining that it looks a little blue. And, and Andy said, you know, there's, there's some manufacturers that it just, it's blue. And, and it may not, to some people, look blue because it's all how you perceive it. But it, it needs to go darker and it needs to be black. We, you know, we got the the black and white theme going here, so Andy convinced me. So said, you gotta bring this thing and let me go darker. So hopefully it turns out great. I'm trusting you, buddy, but you're the best. So we're covering up the door so the Alcantara and everything's protected. So this is all the stuff we want to protect the, the Alcantara. The leather is a little easy to clean, but Alcantara can be a bitch sometimes. So tape everything all up. We're gonna do this window, that window, and this. Are we doing the back quarter or no? Are we doing the engine one or no? I don't think it's needed because you can't really, and you can't really see through there. You're seeing more of the reflection of me right here. So I don't think we're gonna leave that glass. It's already tinted anyways, so. And you were so worried. I'm not gonna lie, you guys know how picky I am. I'm like, I wanna go darker, I wanna get it tinted, I'm just paranoid about the Alcantara. But you've done this how many hundreds of millions of times? <laughs> but you, too, ma too many times. So, we'll tape it all up, and then he'll do his thing. So here you guys can see everything's taped up. You can see it's already tinted. So this will be removed, and it'll be darker. Andy has kindly pointed out that the film right here, I don't know if you guys will be able to see it, right on the edge here, 
is not even down into the window, so that's a no-no. But we'll uh, we'll fix that. If you guys can see that there. I'm sorry. Let's work like this. We're good. We can do it. So the joys of tinting is squeezing your way to the back of cars to get to the tough spots. It's gonna be tough for you guys to see, but he's pulling all the glue and all that other remaining shit from the film. There's the old Violent. It is. <laughs> That's a big difference. <laughs> so you guys were always telling me to tint the car. It was tinted. It, <laughs> you're always saying tint the damn thing. I'm like, guys, it is tinted. So hopefully after this, there'll be no more questioning that statement. Well. So you can see the glue coming off. Just a razor, right? And like a water solution. Yeah. Tiny bit of little factory tint in the glass, but barely anything. Fishbowl effect. So this side's done. We got big window, the rear quarter's done, and then the little piece here stripped off. So we'll get the other side stripped off and then cut the film and get going on the new stuff. So that's what we'll be doing. You can kind of see it. So that side's torn down. That's got the 35% on original. Correct me if I'm explaining this wrong. You basically put this on, cut this shape out, and then you slap it in on the inside and... Slap it on the inside. Slap it in on the inside and call yeah. it a day. guys do it because this is an art in itself I mean I'm giving you a lot of credit I don't think a lot of people give tinting enough credit like I don't know if you guys ever tried to do this shit by yourself I tried once didn't turn out too bad but I will say it was nowhere close to what a you know, professional can do so leave it to those guys So if you guys haven't figured it out, the whole point of the light is so he can see where the actual window meshes into the black part of the glass so he can cut the shape out of the window. So here's the film we're doing. This is Johnson Films, 15%. So uh, this should be, we're going what? Double. It was 35 before, so we're going down to 15. Uh, I think Nick Nick has it on his car. It's on Andy's GT3 here, so <laughs> should be pretty good. All right. So it's gonna be tough for you guys to see, but you take the film from the outside off. You can see him putting it inside there. Squeegee it out. Clean up because it puts slip stuff everywhere, and then it's good. So he's using a towel. I'm assuming because when he squeegees down with the towel, it sucks up some of the fluid so it doesn't, you know, drop down on your door panels or anything. Take it from the outside. 
We're on the inside. So you just slap it right on. And slap it right on. And obviously when he's all done, everything squeezed on there, I'll take a blade and cut across and get all the excess off. Easy. Right, Andy? Simple. <laughs> what's what's the heat for? Just to seal it on the edge. That's nice. Make sure nothing peels up. Especially with these cars. Yeah. Because it's going up in. Yep. For the weather stripping. That is a lot darker. <laughs> I expected that, but that's that is dark. I'm not complaining. It's gonna make a hell of a difference, that's for damn sure. So that's done, that's dark. That's definitely dark. I mean, you can see in there right now because that door's open, but when that door gets closed, the only thing that's gonna be pretty much letting light in is gonna be the windshield. But that is definitely darker. So we're gonna finish up this side, same process, finish that up, and I uh, guess I'll be on my way then. We are finishing up the final trimming on this side, and then we should be good to go. Appreciate you watching, Andy. Thank you, I will link all his information below. He's in Harrisburg, PA, but come here. He does really, really, really nice work. Window doctor, as we say, so definitely give him a shout if you need window tinting, not just on cars, buildings too. So give them a shout. Thank you guys for watching. Do me a favor, click the red subscribe button and we'll see you on the next video. I have to definitely say it's a lot darker in here. Not complaining, it's a good thing. So it definitely, it has improved the appearance of the car too. So very happy. Andy, thanks again, buddy.